Okay, I wanted to show you a few problems of changing a fraction to a decimal. Okay, to change a fraction to a decimal, you can always take the top divided by the bottom. It doesn't matter which one's bigger, which one's smaller. Okay, you can always take the top divided by the bottom. So 12 over 5, 12 fifths. Change that to a decimal, take the 12 on top, divided by the 5 on the bottom. Okay, what I like to do is put a decimal point right after the number that's being divided. And I like to even put that on the fraction bar above it so I don't get confused. Okay, so 5 won't go into 1, but 5 goes into 12 twice. Okay, 5 times 2 is 10, so I'm going to subtract 10 from 12. Okay, that gives me 2. Okay, I'm going to bring the 0 down. It's understood that there's a 0 there. Okay, 5 into 20 goes exactly 4 times. Okay, 5 times 4 is 20. And subtract, and you can tell that you're done. Okay, so 12 fifths is equal to 2.4. Okay, 7 eighths. Okay, divide the bottom 8 into the top 7. Notice in this problem the, the top number is smaller. In the first problem, the top number was bigger. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, you always take the top divided by the bottom. Okay, I would go ahead and put the decimal point after the 7, and even right above it. Okay, 8 won't go into 7, so add a 0. 8 into 70. Let's see, 8 times 9 is 63. No, 8 times 9 is 72, but 8 times 8 is 64, so let's try 8. Okay, 8 times 8 is 64, subtract. Uh, 70 minus 64 is 6. Okay, so we need to bring down a 0. 8 into 60. Let's see, 8 times 7 is 56. I think that's the closest we're going to get. So subtract 56 from 60, we get 4. Okay, bring down another 0. 8 into 40 goes exactly 5 times. Okay, so we are done. It's 0.875. It's okay to leave the 0 out in front of the decimal or to put a zero in front of the decimal point. So 0 0.875. Okay, one third. Divide three into one. Okay, decimal point after the one and even above it on the fraction bar. Okay, three won't go into one. Three will go into ten. Three times. Okay, 3 times 3 is 9. Subtract, you get 1. Okay, just add a 0 and bring that 0 down. 3 into 10 again goes 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. Subtract, 1. Bring the 0 down. Okay, 3 into 10. 3 times. Okay, you guys see the pattern? Okay, so 1 third is equal to... 0.333 repeating. So you could write 0.333 dot dot dot. Um, I don't know if you've seen this in your other math classes, but you could use a repeating bar over the three to show it goes on forever. That's a repeating bar. But either way, it means 0.33333 forever and ever and ever. Okay, so change a fraction to a decimal. You can always take the top divided by the bottom. Okay, see how you do on the, on the right it.